Hi everyone, I'm Tink with Tink Moments, and today I'm going to share with you my secret of how to get your entire family involved with planning and prepping for your next vacation. If you're watching this, chances are you are the sole person who is in charge of planning and prepping for your family vacations. That used to be me in my house, and I would get so frustrated when I was trying to get everybody to help me get their sizes or what they need and all the prep work that needed to be done, especially when we were having a cruise in the middle of the winter, and the only time to buy swim gear, swimsuits, snorkels, all that fun stuff is in the summer before the cruise, because if you wait until fall or winter to get ready, there's nothing left. But I have a solution. This solution does come with one side effect, that is increased excitement. But if you would like a way to help you deal with that, there's a video right here and that's about uh, vacation countdowns. Give it a look. The solution is parties. Who can say no to a party? You'll have to do a little bit of prep work before the party or the launch party for the parties and you're going to need to make a list of all the things that you will need help doing to get yourself ready for the vacation. And one tip is to take and make that list just a little bit shorter by one month of how many months you have left until your vacation. Here's a sample of my list. Let your family know that you're going to be having parties. The first year that I did this, I made postcards and of course we were going to Disney and they had Disney characters on them. I made one for each month and sent them as invitations to the party. Now, getting to planning the party. Nothing too big or fancy. You want to lighten your note, load, not increase it. Sorry about that. And what I like to do is if we're going to Disney, I'd like to plan my parties around each of the different worlds that are there. If we're going on a cruise, I try and make the theme more nautical. And near the end of the planning, I try to make it more around the theme of what our room is going to be decorated in. And the reason that has to be later on is because one of my earlier planning parties is usually what theme we want to decorate the bedroom in. Oh, cabin. If you're planning on going to Disney, you can have a little bit of Disney music playing in the background. And if some spontaneous dancing breaks out, that's okay too. You can also plan to have a snack or a treat that is themed around Disney or wherever it is that you're going. Or you can do something as simple as having some blue milk for a Star Wars party. By the way, have you heard that Disney's getting a Star Wars land? It's a destination resort, not a land. Anyway, getting back to the planning. Typically our first party is set around planning the rest of the parties and we like to try and plan what kind of foods we're going to have and what kind of snacks and just fun little things like that. <laughs> Here is an example of our calendar as well. When the first party is done, we like to wrap it up with a movie that's themed around what we've just had the party. For example, again, going back to Disney and Star Wars, we'll either have a Star Wars movie in Maybe if you well, have a whole weekend to watch all of them, but when we don't have that long, we'll go ahead and just do something like Spaceballs, because you can't watch just one Star Wars movie. Sorry. Okay, and going forward, all of your parties are going to be very similar, except you're just going to change the theme or activity that you're doing. No matter what parties we have, we always have three certain ones. One of them is what we're going to wear. Another one is called the mustard drill. And the third one is the get packing. Obviously, that's going to be near the end. But when we're talking about what to wear, we want to throw that in early so that if we decide that we want to have custom-made t-shirts that I need a few extra hands to make, we want to be able to plan a party for that as well. If it looks like you didn't have room, find two other ones that you can kind of squeeze together and throw the um, shirt making one in, in that empty spot. Now touching on the mustard drill, and I'm saying mustard as in that yellow stuff that goes on your hot dog, not mustard like we're actually getting on the cruise. The backstory behind that is we will have a, a cookout that day with hot dogs and mustard and we pretend as if we have, oops, got some mustard on our clothes and we have to change. And this becomes a race. We want to see who can get changed the fastest and who, or how long it takes, what everybody looks like, when everybody gets dressed into an outfit, take a picture. That picture is going to work good for the what am I going to wear today. You have a picture of each outfit and how they go together. 
and you're also going to have a time of how long it's going to take for everybody to get dressed. Why is that important? Well, when you've had a full day's activities and you need to get back to the cabin, everybody needs to take a shower and get to dinner on time, you're going to appreciate knowing how long it takes everybody to get ready so you can figure out how long you can stay out of the pool and play before having to come back to the cabin. So, when all your pictures are taken and all of your numbers are written down, you'll know if there's any um, extra shopping that you're going to need to do for last minute. And then when you get on to the packing month, you're going to want to check out my Elephant Packing and Elephant Packing 101 so that you can get the most items into your suitcase so you're paying for less luggage on the flight. Um, another item that will help you have a complete list of everybody's time for prepping is get a time of how long everybody's shower and washing their hair, drying their hair, all that getting ready stuff typically takes. So say that mom, it's going to take her 30 minutes to take her shower and get her hair done. But daughter number two, it takes her about 45 minutes to take a shower alone and then she's going to need another 15 for wash or drying her hair and getting her makeup on. I might have those numbers mixed up. But you understand what I'm saying. You'll know who has to be back when. Here's a copy of one of the lists that we've made so that you can see what I'm talking about. If you're planning for your last month to be packing, you should be halfway there by now. Another item that'll help you get even closer is having a pack, pack a basket. And what we use for pack a basket, it's laying there in an area that is accessible to everybody in the house. And if you come across something you know you're going to need to pack, like your bottle of sunscreen, go ahead and toss it in the basket. And it'll collect all the little what dots and ends that you need to have. And I'll do a full video one time on a pack a basket instead of getting off track here. Sorry, little tink moment. Um, other suggestions for parties you may want to do if you're going on a Disney cruise, there's something called an FE, which I have a video for that, and you will need to be able to pack for those things, plan for those things, make those. Um, you also might want to plan a night for dinners. If you're going to Disney World or another uh, resort destination where you need to pick out where you're going to be eating at night, it's not done for you like on the Disney cruise, then you'll want to discuss with the family. What do you feel like eating tonight? Where do you think is the best choice? If you're going to be going, say, on a ski trip to Colorado, you're going to want to plan out what days you want to be on the slope, what time you want to be off the slope, so you can have a party for that also. No matter what you're planning for, the idea is to lessen the burden on your shoulders and to get everybody excited. That's all I have for today. If you have got any questions about what I've just shared, please go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. If you have a special way or special item that you have getting ready for your vacations, please share those. I like hearing about how other people get ready and enjoy their vacations. And if you have any comments, questions, looking for a hack for your vacation or a party planning, just please ask away. I love hearing from you guys. That's going to be it. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos about travel, destination hacks, anything like that, find the subscribe button wherever I put it. Give that a click and also find the bell. And if you click on the bell, you'll be reminded about when any of my videos are coming out. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you out there. Before we go, I don't know if you got a chance to actually see my shirt. That is me. I am the number one Disney planning free. Bye, guys. And... One second. Did you stop it? <laughs> you this solution does come with one side effect. That side effect is increased excitement. It's okay. You can check out this video right up here, and that is about... You can check out this video right here, and that is about countdown aids, things to... No, I still didn't get it. Stop.